API Standard 1104, Module 9C, Acceptance Standards for NDT, Gary A. Pace, PE, CWI, Katy, Texas. Learning objectives. We're going to talk about ultrasonic testing and the visual acceptance standards for undercutting. 9.6, ultrasonic testing. Classifications and indications, 9611 general. Indications produced by ultrasonic testing are not necessarily defects. Changes in the weld geometry due to alignment offset of abutting pipe ends, changes in weld reinforcement profile of ID root or OD capping passes, internal chamfering, and the ultrasonic wave mode conversion due to such conditions may cause geometric indications that are similar to those caused by welded imperfections but are not relevant to acceptability. So it's telling you that there's going to be sound waves bouncing all over inside the piece of metal and the weld geometry and alignment of the pipe and whatnot can give you conditions that could cause a, something to show up that isn't necessarily an imperfection and it's not necessarily relevant to acceptability. So you kind of got to be careful with this one. Nine six two acceptance standards. General indications shall be considered defects should any of the following conditions exist. Indications determined to be cracks. If you got a crack, it's a defect. You got to take care of it. B, individual indications with a vertical height through wall dimension determined to be greater than one quarter of the wall thickness. So anything greater than one quarter of the wall thickness is considered a defect. Multiple indications at the same circumferential location with a summed vertical height through wall dimension exceeding one quarter of the wall thickness. So if you've got a bunch of stuff stacked up in there and it's greater than one quarter of the wall thickness, you've got to deal with it. Accumulation. Any accumulation of relevant indications shall be considered a defect when any of the following conditions exist. A. The aggregate length of the indications of the evaluation level exceeds 2 inches in any 12 inches of length of weld. So if you got 2 inches in any 12 inches of weld and it's all accumulated, that all stacks up, and it's greater than two inches, it's going to be a defect. You're going to have to deal with it. Accumulation, part B. The aggregate length of the indications above the evaluation level exceeds 8% of the weld length. So whatever your length of weld is, and these aggregate, you know, everything adds up. You take your weld length, you multiply it by 0 0.08, and that's how much your that's the amount of aggregate you can have so it'd be eight percent of your weld length undercut 971 general undercutting is defined in 9311 uh, the acceptance standards in 972 supplement that do not replace visual inspection requirements found elsewhere in this standard when visual and mechanical means are used to determine depth, undercutting adjacent to the cover of the root bead shall not exceed the dimensions given in Table 4. When both mechanical and radiographic measurements are available, the mechanical measurements shall govern. Okay, so here's our Table 4 maximum dimensions of undercutting. So you just need to um, read through it. You know, the first one on there. Anything greater than a 32nd of an inch or 12.5% of pipe wall thickness, whichever is smaller. 32nd of an inch to me is if I can hang my fingernail on it. If it's enough that I can catch my fingernail on it, that's a 32nd of an inch. And then it goes on from there and gives you a couple other, um, you know, depths that are, that you need to address, you know, 64th of an inch or, um, you know, 1 64th of an inch or 6% of the pipe wall thickness, whichever is smaller. But it gives you, you know, acceptable regardless of length. So you just need to read through this table and understand that this deals with undercutting.
Okay, we covered ultrasonic testing and 9.7 we covered visual acceptance standards for undercutting.